Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone. First and ten, Winston. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Off the play fake, Winston. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Jameis now on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Adam Troutman, 28 yards. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is Tony Pollard. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. A first down throw for Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. 
No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of six. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, Winston. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. Winston to give. It's Kamara. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Play action now, Winston. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, third down here. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. second down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. That is caught. Traquan Smith. Touchdown Saints. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Saints add on to their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Now Pollard. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. 
what they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Flushed out right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Elliott running right. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. On first and ten, Prescott completes it right side to Cooper. A gain of six there on first. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, this is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Elliott trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. On the sneak, it's Prescott, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Cowboys get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Zerline good with a PAT, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started as they take over with exactly one minute to go. First down, Winston. Looking long for Thomas. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. 
Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Following the interception, here's Prescott escaping the pressure right. He'll fire this deep for Gallup, and that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for, and it's second down. As a former defender, I can feel their sigh of relief after that one because when he breaks out of the pocket and you face a mobile quarterback, he causes all kind of problems in your secondary. They were able to force that incompletion. Power running by Zeke. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Prescott on third and two. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Prescott on first down. Forced out to his left. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And on the stop, Demonte Casey. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Now Pollard. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive. And we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Prescott. Runs over it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. On third down, it's Prescott. Buying time to his left. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown. Dalton Schultz, 56 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Working with second and five now. They go play action. Winston. And it's hauled in by Nick Vanette. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. A tenth carry for Kamara. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. They run it again with Kamara. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. From the red zone now, Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Four yards remain for second down. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper at a first down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. There to make the grab. And the Saints have taken the lead. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First down. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Get ready, get ready, get ready. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Let's rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here, and if so, they've still got an opportunity. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash dropped at the one. It's a game. 